Hey everyone, welcome back to the BVTV Gaming Channel. We are here with another SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 SmackDown General Manager Mode episode. And, as you can see as we go to the fan support, we're still in last place. However, I feel like we're not too far down. It's kind of hard to tell, but I do feel like we're kind of on the up and up. Uh, we're still, um, you know, working on everyone's popularity, which to be honest, has been a bit challenging when you have four titles, you want to have, you know, people who are going for titles, of course, to kind of make it interesting, uh, to put it in the slightest. So we're, we're, we're still working on it, and I'm kind of glad we're little by little chipping away at it the best way we possibly can. I think the biggest pain right now is Gregory Helms, considering the fact that Gregory Helms is annoying, but, oh, and Kane, and Kane, yeah. Yeah, Kane has um, been useless, but Nitro's been trying to hang in there. So has Mark Henry. Henry was like a 50-something. He's actually on a, little, on a little bit of a winning streak. So if we can organically help Mark Henry, you know, gain some more wins and stuff, you best believe we're going to do that for Mark Henry. Uh, Matt Hardy kind of maybe the same boat. Kind, kind of the same with Matt. Oh, he's about to take a loss. Oh, he's about to take a massive loss. I just realized that. Well, Matt's going to go down one, but I mean, still, he's staying in that 68-70 range, so I'm appreciative, I'm appreciative for Matt Hardy to do that. It's kind of the same thing with Shad. He's just kind of there. Um, to Is Shad even being used on this episode? Wow. Um... <laughs> It would be more beneficial if I added Shad over here. If I added Matt Hardy over here, put Shad over here, right? Yeah, and then we put Johnny Nitro over here. Because when's us time Nitro? April 26th. It was for the United States title. <laughs> that is the last time he actually competed for a belt? Wowzers. Okay, well, Johnny Nitro is going to get a Cruiserweight title opportunity for tonight. Um, I think that's the only change that I want to make just because I can keep Matt's winning streak going. I can keep Mark's winning streak going. Unfortunately, I don't take a loss here, but like it's just more, it is way benefit, it's way more beneficial to me to do that than to throw Matt in there when I could keep building popularity organically while trying to also, you know, push people through. So because JTG's fatigue is just way too high, we're of course going to skip the main event. We are going to do match one, three, and four for this week. So let's get to this, of course, kind of just building Mark Henry up to be this indestructible force. Now that he's like actually like a 70 popularity, the more we can have him win, the better. That's honestly the uh, um, the goal. Yeah. He probably won't. He, he will more than likely not go on like an MVP run where MVP had like 25 straight wins. But I mean, at the same time... I'm not gonna complain. As I mentioned, the is out of the way. There we go. It kind of looks better. Hey, right, folks. Mark Henry, everyone. On a five-match win streak. Yo, 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 yo! Pop a forty and check your rollies. It's crime time. And of course, folks. None other. Then the former ECW Brody, World Champion, Shad. Piper is just here to just kind of bring us the Piper effect. We'll see him in match three as well. He's just here to boost the ratings because Lord knows we need it. Wait, are we? And, and we're going to hear Rick Reed's music on the show. That's all I wanted. To, yes. Life has been accomplished. 
the Shad and Mark Henry staring to down to kick off smack those two Giants. Oh, my lord. What a clothesline. It's be how much it's be who I mean well let's bounce out. Mark Henry. Wow, great reverse can overpower damn near everybody. As we just seen. That was with ease. That is I, I think Shad in, in the game's like what, six ten, seven foot? He's a giant. Seeing a match like and this Mark Henry is making it look like part of this he weighs company. nothing. I'm with you, partner. You just can't experience a thrill like this anywhere else. And that's because you're not going to see athletes like the WWE superstars Again, you're not anywhere see else. Look at the, Cole, look at the freakish nature are. of They're Mark Henry. They're the greatest Hen athletes in the world. And this is the only place you'll see them doing what they do best. Look at this. Mark Henry just purely dominating. To the Hall of Pain, does What's Shad to go now? here tonight? It's the Hall of Pain on Mark slam. Henry. That oh. is vicious. That is an awkward knee. Like, it just... Thunk. Does that even look like it actually hit some... Let's see, it's so great seeing charm. these superstars in competition here tonight. I had a feeling they are going to wind up against each other sooner or later. It doesn't look like it does anything. You know, it just looks like he just thunks off the ground. There were times when it seemed like it wasn't thunks going to happen, but I can't tell you thunks. how glad I am that it did. That's for sure. You know, anytime you throw these kind of combustible elements into a match, you're guaranteed a great show. And that's exactly okay. what we're really. seeing here tonight. So I think Mark Henry is enjoying how he is dismantling Shad. But Shad, he's trying to he's legit. Oh. I love watching Mark Henry wrestle. No one else in this business can take an opponent apart the way he can. Yeah, this a, is not going to be Shad, pretty. thank you, thank it you sure for coming. Mark Henry to demolish Shad here tonight. Connects. And Mark Henry to pick up the victory. The One, two, it? three. Well, that is why the man is a former East. Oh, he's going to step on him. Wow. Well, then, Mark Henry just Chad stepping on Shad. To... Now, there's a superstar with Goes that. off the, the top, the elbow. Oh, my Lord. How? You can Mark show Henry the just. Crowd if you want, but all that does is let your opponent rest up. Actually, I think it's a great display of confidence on the part of this great superstar. He dodged that bullet. Can we just talk about the fact, or the simple fact for that matter, that. Shad just kicked out of a, a, a massive freaking Hall of Pain slam there. I mean, I was going to say, I think we know what he's going for here. Oh, sure new, and there over. it is. World's strongest slam. It's over. It's, it, it, yeah. One, here's the cover. two, three. Mark Henry picks up the victory, destroying Shad in the process here tonight. Congrats to the world's strongest man, Mark Henry, on winning here tonight. He puts his winning streak to six wins as we move on and continue the SmackDown show. And Matt Hardy gets to have a win by his name, too. I don't think it will have the same effect on Matt as it will hit because Matt was a manager, but still. All right, please, Ric Flair, win. Damn it, Ricky lost to Life Burke. Well, it's great for Elijah. At least gets a win. Next up, folks, will be for the Cruiserweight Championship. And honestly, I don't think anyone has defended the title more than Rick Root has. I feel like he has been the true like workhorse um, of the of the series, so at, at least so far. Like leading up to SummerSlam, he has he's got to be like the the the, the workhorse. But folks, interesting the man with the, the, the best music in this game. He is none other than your reigning, defending, cruiserweight champion, the Ravishing One. Ravishing Rick Rude. Okay. You can't tell me this theme is not fire. I mean, it's got, like, whatever that music is. It's great. It's a Rick Rude, everybody. That's what I'm saying. It's great. And I, I, I refuse to hear slander on this theme. 
and of course, his opponent, the man challenging for the Cruiserweight Championship. He is none other than Johnny Nitro. You know, John Nitro obviously the Cruiserweight champ has not had a title match in ages. He needs it badly here tonight. I forget how long these loading screens take. Oh my god. I feel like we've gotten a lot of really good use out of this PS5, but it's putting some work. Just punches him dead in the face. That's it. It's over. Rick Rude's gone. He's getting counted out, everybody. Rude is leaving the building. Why, Why wouldn't he just go forward? Now that's the way Said to do all it. Rick Rude. Oh, but Johnny Knights are not happy about it, clearly. Or you can just keep posturing and give your opponent time to recover. He's the flexing for the crowd. This is the best Rick Rude we've ever seen. I don't think anyone in this match has even considered that they might not walk out the winner. This, that, that right there is a true gentleman. The bugging and bugging. Get you beat quicker than anything. And that's something I don't think people realize. The yeah. mental conditioning of the WWE superstars. I think is Rude's going. For, may, may, maybe this, this is Rude's conditioning. plan. Go for the count out. Why doesn't he put his money where his mouth is and or continue the match? Or awkwardly hey, in front of the referee. Don't get hot. He's just having a little fun here. He was one step ahead on that one. Oh my Great God, reversal. Jesus! Oh boy, he just this hit with his brush. Let's root going for the root match. awakening. The you net break. Right. Can Nobody it land? Gets up from the root awakening. Nobody. The root awakening to put away the challenger. He's going, going for the pin. pin. Retain oh. one, two. It's over. Oh come on, come on! What was that? Obviously, root has had enough of it. I've been he likes he's choking out the referee. It's easy to see why. He's really good at it. He's whoa! There goes the referee. Might Rude well has just the assaulted the, the ref. And that also means that there's no one to call a pinfall or submission. He's putting that weapon to good use here. And as long as he's got that thing, he's That's in the That's the power. The power driver. The power driver. Oh my God! On the floor. The referee had, does has, has no idea what's happened. All he knows is that uh -huh, Rick Rude is standing in the ring while Jari Nitro is Should down be. after he just got power driven off, off the match. floor. This is, this is what Rude wants. Oh, the ref's out like a lot. Anything goes now. Good lord, this is exactly right. what Ravish There's no one to enforce the rules until the Rude ref is revives. not going to play by the rules, clearly. And again, the ref not Here knowing anything what's Rude happening with that two, that ball bar two by four. The Rude, the Rude awakening, that's got to be it. Ravishing Rick Rude is going to have this one in the bag. Two this or ten, three three title. Right one, here. two, can Nitro somehow fight out of this? Again, Rude not happy. Still assaulting the referee. He's about to get Seeing rocked a again. Like this oh. makes me proud to be part of this company. I'm with you, partner. Look out! Thought the Rude had had other down. ideas for and a moment. This there. is it where things out, start getting interesting. Wow! He's gonna go for that Great sledgehammer. Reversal. God, what a sickening impact for that sledgehammer. Golly. That thing's meant to crush stone. Imagine what it'll do to a human being. Again, the referee has no idea that Rude used the sledgehammer. No, the third Rude Awakening was countered here by Johnny Nitro. Nitro could be in the driver. Oh, well, probably, oh wait, no, no. Maybe, maybe he is. Maybe he is. When I first heard about this match, you I wasn't admit, sure trying to fight this Please try to put on the fight of his life. These superstars are blowing me away. Really? As soon as I heard about it, I expected a body tremendous slam. Okay. match up. Top rope moves can win or lose you the match. There's We're going very off the top, round. measuring up. Giant Nitro. Oh, oh, that's it. Right to the He's heart. He's going for the cover. One, two, three. 
That's, that's I knew it. That elbow off the top, right to the heart. Of, that was it. Ravishing Rick Rude retains the Cruiserweight Championship here tonight. Congrats to the Ravishing One, Ravishing Rick Rude, on retaining the Cruiserweight Here's Championship here tonight in convincing fashion. He puts for the challenge of Johnny Nitro. As we should listen to the for like five more seconds. One, two, three, four, five, 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 five. Hey, the way I the way I, I look at it is like this. Ravishing Rick Rude is, is continuing a dominant reign as cruiserweight champion it's been absolutely impressive to see this is going to be the actual main event because we're skipping this match we've seen it before it's just a matter of i was going to originally put jtg versus the rock here but he's got way too way too high of a fatigue for me to want to risk it so i had to do this so whatever but this is the actual main event Shawn michaels randy orton the undertaker and of course cm punk in this one, the heels, the faces, we're going to go with the faces in this one. Randy Orton, the... Randy Orton so far... Actually, no, Randy Orton isn't the longest reigning champion. It's uh, it's Rick Root. Rick, Rick Root won it um, first. Yeah. Wow, okay. So... Rick Root has been the longest reigning champion, so there hasn't been anyone in the World Heavyweight title that you can ask so my about that. But as I mean, the former World Heavyweight Champion, the Dirtbag, has healed himself, Shawn Michaels. Let's start booing him out of the building. Screw you, Shawn. It's funny how at, the, at, the, at one point in both our universes, not this one, the other, but 2K24, Shawn Michaels, the face, and Shawn Michaels, the heel, were World Champion at the same time. Yeah, Blizzard enters in the rating United States Champion and Shawn Michaels Tag Team Partner. He is the legend killer, Randy Orton. Can Randy Orton pick up this tag team victory here tonight? And of course, the man that takes a million years at the man who is unsuccessful in retaining the WWE Tag Team Champion with his brother Kane against the new Tag Team Champion, Shawn Michaels and Nick Blair. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the Undertaker. The man who takes a million years just to pop up on your screen. And of course, folks, his tag team partner, he is none, none other than CM Punk. Can CM Punk and the Undertaker coexist here tonight and get a big victory over two champions? One half of the tag champ, Shawn Michaels, and of course, well, the United States champion, Randy Orton. And I know, I know what you guys are thinking. Why is it, why is it that uh, you know certain people have uh, championship opportunities? That's really based on popular. Oh. He saw that one coming. Actually, even though Taker and Orton are uh, the current feud, nice quick counter I think there. That if we revisit Sean, and nice reversal. It's still kind of fresh. Taker and Kane still have not gotten their rematch. Um, <laughs> I want to put that out there. They will get it eventually, though. That is coming up soon. Look at that! That's going to go over big with the fans and build some momentum at the same time. You gotta watch out for your opponent when they're getting fired up like this. Imagine Taker wants to absolutely beat the light. Yep, there goes the big boot. Yeet to you two. Taker's gonna take control Even of this if match. You wind Punk up winning gonna, a match like this, you're some gonna be type of it for the next week. Yes, but that's the case told if you, you lose you, as well. Told you. And having to deal with emotional as well as physical pain is that much worse. Hey, that's pretty insightful for a guy who's never wrustled a match in his life. Well, I've been in the God, locker room after a game. match and seen the Taker's superstars. Taker's go for it again. That's two. I think Taker's going to go for the trifecta of the big boots. Radiating off them. It's not a pretty sight. 
Yeah, this is not going well for Randy Orton and Shawn Michaels. Watch it. He reversed it. Shawn can barely pick up. Again, Taker's just going to make sure he plants Shawn. I mean, this is what Taker's going to do. He's not going to do much here. I hope this isn't the last time we see these superstars face off. I don't say this too often, but I completely agree with you. This has all the makings of a nice, long rivalry. Yeah, this is not going to go well for nice Randy. I don't know how nice it is, but there are certainly some issues between these superstars, and I think this match might only exasperate them. Hey, watch your language. This is a family Goodness show. Gracious. I said oh, exasperate. Randy Scrolls is being not, oh, absolutely worked. I actually think Randy may have survived that, that onslaught. Here it is. He's building up ahead of Steve. Is Randy picking up Taker going to suplex him? And if his opponent is smart, he'll get the hell out of there. I think Orton's taking a bit too long. Oh, never mind. Instead of pandering to the fans, you should really keep your head in the match. Come on. You're looking at a superstar who can feed off a crowd and use that energy Damn. to win the match. He just punched the shit out of him. Yoink. No, you don't. Talk about superstars who yeah, don't have an ounce take, of quit between them. You're take, looking take, at them right here. This match. And that's Yoink. a potentially dangerous mindset to be this in. Take is going to go for it. There's the pin. Can his opponent kick out? Man, I don't know why Randy just sat there and, like, stood. Oh my! I think someone's just been busted yeah, open. That is Taker kind of sending blood. a message These here, getting, and the, un like the Undertaker's gonna finish. To finish the Undertaker's gonna finish it, folks. It is a tomb stone. The tombstone right here. One, two, three. The Undertaker pins the United States Champion Randy Orton here tonight, which I think all right, that right there is gonna just kind of build to um to their their now the second match between uh Taker and, and Orton. That's exactly what it's like. that second title match um at the pay per view. That's really where I'm gonna shoot for here. But here Taker pins winners. the United States champion Randy the Orton here at the end. We also split him open. But CM Punk and Taker and... get the job done in the main event of the that's two, but one. <laughs>
you just added an element to it to to make it better. And then same thing with with Jeff and 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 Rick Rude. That was the whole uh, purpose behind it was to do that. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, why, 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 why? Um, that really just... Or is that one at, at 11 weeks? Okay, so 11 weeks for us seems to be the ceiling for rivalries, which now I'm kind of curious. From being 26. For... That's going to be interesting. I do want all of our feuds to kind of conclude at Armageddon so that we kind of get ready for a final one. Um, but we shall see. That that really bites, actually. Uh, that right there, that that is, that's killer. I do want to check out other brands really quick. I just kind of see what is going on with some people. William Regal right now is a post that he's the Intercontinental Champion. I think he's WWE Champion. I can't suppose William Champion is Edge. Mix, World Champion. Steve is nobody. William, the real extreme gentleman, has literally done. I, I don't even want to take him off of Raw. I was going to trade back for him, but he's having such a great run over there. Like, I feel like it would be um, insulting to even take him off of there. You know, I, I don't see the the purpose of it um at all really i i i, I, gen I genuinely don't um i could see us possibly trading for carlito and get rid of gregory helms but i like gregory helms uh if i don't uh, i don't know i don't i first of all how the is everybody oh my word but how are they all so highly rated like yeah i could go for ray but i don't we care for Ray Mysterio. We had him last year on ECW. I'm kind of glad he's back there. We have Batista. But we've had John. Um, we haven't had Kennedy, which uh, could be something. You know, I feel like we've used the majority of the roster except for the females. But like we've had Regal. We've had Foley. We've had Steve, Brett, Bobby, Sandman. I don't think we've ever. I don't really want Finley. Um, but we've had MVP. We've had D Dykstra, Guerrero, Masters. You know, it is very a select few that we just haven't had. Um, you know, we've had Snitsky, even though we traded him. We had Sabu, we've had Kali, uh, Corvan, we had Funk, we had Umaga, John, Batista, Ray, Triple H, we've had. So we've had, um, and to use these, there were quite a lot. So I think for SmackDown, it's really like who have you? So it'd be between Kennedy and, and, uh, and uh, yeah. Work on Ric Flair, old man Ric Flair. You know, I don't. Thinking about it, I'm like, do I really want Ric Flair anymore? And I know that's kind of like messed up to say because he is, uh, you know, he's, you know, he's doing his thing. I'm just kind of like, I don't really. Do I want to invest time? In, in, into Rick, and that he's like he's got two weeks left on his contract. I don't. I actually might propose a trade because I don't really like. That's where that's really messed up. I'm not gonna say that I don't like Ric Flair, please, because I know some, one of you will have my head. How don't you like Ric Flair? What's wrong with you? But like, no. Um, I just feel like there's other people. Uh we could use like i'd give flair to ecw um well probably not what i would probably do is i try try to get like the great Kali, and uh and probably like bring in sabu i, I feel like that would work pretty well who's the ecw champion batista oh it's batista so batista might not be that high of an it's like, oh, we've had Batista before. I'm like, yeah. You know what? Let, let's do Ken. Let, let's give Kennedy a shot. We'll, we'll, we will obviously get it because Ric Flair is 93. And Ken is a... I should really reconsider before I mess that up. 
What is Kennedy's contract? Five weeks, even better. Um, yeah, Kali can go somewhere now, so I don't need him. Okay, well, maybe I need to delete the trade. It's not actually. But I I'll do... They really only do five-week contracts. Damn, even Batista's on a five-week contract. But yeah, let's do Kennedy, and we'll get rid of Flair. Which I know for some is like, ah, oh, man, it's kind of messed up, but... I, I don't, yeah, I know it's like Flair and Shine are kind of, kind of mess tag team championships, but, uh, declined, bitch, oh, cause he, oh, cause he's a champion, that's right, so he's not even that highly rated. It's the title that's gotten that highly rated. So if we take the belts off of, yeah, let's say let's say we, we just vacate. That doesn't affect Brad, right? Perfect. So let's just say, what is Flair's? He's an eighty. Oh, but he was an eighty-one before. Oh, okay, that works out because I will grab. I'll grab Carlito. And now we have Carlito, everybody. Now, now the real question is, who in the blue hell is going to take with Shawn Michaels? Uh, that's the real question. Because Shawn's got to find a partner. Um, you know what? What if we give Shawn Michaels and Shawn Michaels has a new enforcer by the name of Mark Henry? Yes. Yes. Shawn Michaels hired, because Shawn Michaels is a heel. He's, he's his hired gun. He's going to hire up Mark Henry to help him defend the titles. That way, Sean does not lose the titles. I like that idea. It helps out Henry's popularity, which it puts Henry at, at, at a night at a at a seventy six now, and then we can focus on working up Carlito. Um, that works tenfold. It doesn't affect Shawn Michaels' storyline. He's still the champs. Of course, we're gonna have uh, you know, Shawn Michaels de defend that title here tonight because you can't just give out. Uh, championship like that I don't know why I just took so long to oh my god that's 10 Carlito said I'm cool <laughs> what is his Carlito in just that is now a 92. Carlito said, I'm him. I am the one. The chosen. So he's now, now he's a 95. That's pretty epic because he can have the win. That's 98. It's 94. It's not, well, even if he loses. Booyah, let's go. So we, we weren't getting that before. But no, tag team championships are going to be on the line tonight. Um, let me make sure I don't screw myself over. And like I have people who are on like a one week. Yeah, see, that's what I was fearing. Let's re, -hi re you know, hire everybody before I inevitably mess that up. Folks, the world champion, of course, is going to get a big boost in his contract. All you people who cost $250, what's wrong with you? $250, $250,000, sorry. I really need to check my mathematics before I make a claim like that again. 
I would say he sh his his should go down because we did kind of just you know have him lose. Golly, Oof, that would have been rough. Down to like our last like sixty six six hundred ninety thousand dollars. Jesus, we got people for seven weeks, so I can kind of now breathe a little bit heavier. Or easier, not heavier, easier, easier. Please don't, don't, don't jinx me, Lord. Yeah, I'm trying to jinx myself. The biggest like concern is JTG, but we'll we'll see how he does. He is going to be in singles action tonight, main event, of course. King Booker. And the Rock. It, we're in Rick Rude's hometown. Okay, so that's pretty big. Hold on, but the tag team titles are gonna definitely be on the line. I think in match two is the best. Well, let's put a match three. Let's put him. No, I already know why I'm not going to. Well, I'm going to severely regret doing this. Yeah, I can already tell. Well, no, we're going to put Sean. And who's their guy they're feeding with? Let's see him. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, wait a minute. Why did I just forget that rival? CM Punk. I don't know why I didn't um, do that. Because we're going to give Kane and Undertaker up there. Oh, I can't. Ho! Ho-ho! So I've got a better idea. Since CM Punk has to be in this match, CM Punk is going to ask Roddy Piper, because he didn't make that claim, hey, you guys have to earn them, because technically that's a vacated title. This is perfect. I don't want that to be the opener. Absolutely not. What, what, am I out of my mind? Well, it is this match right here. It's it's in Rick Rude's home, so I think it's only fair um, that we have two championship matches tonight. Um, but of course. Oh, Rick can't put the title on the line tonight. Oh, okay, okay. That's fine. Mark Henry, Shawn Michaels, CM Punk, and ask his, like, hero, Roddy Piper, to help him out. I like that. We'll do the main event. We'll do the tag team title one um, over here. We're going to do Carlito. We're going to use Carlito as a punching bag. Uh, that's the best part about it. It's going to be Matt Hardy. Kane, because he's terrible right now. And Johnny Nitro. We're going we're gonna to use them to kind of just get their popularity back up. Kane's already on losing streak. Matt can continue the winning streak and move up from there. Obviously, Mark Henry's going to win this tag team title match. He's got to be fan titles, but helps build the storyline a little bit, you know? Um, match two and match three are uncalled or unassigned yet. So if that's going to happen, I feel like Book needs to be in action. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because while all the politics are going on, Remember, we don't need JTG for everything. But while these politics are going on... Let's see, Randy and Taker still have to do their thing, too. I just realized that. <sighs> what is his... F ah, I don't like that.
we can combine them. Oh yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We are going to combine. The rock will be over here. Take it will be over here. The United States. Oh, that's champion versus champion. King Booker, the world heavyweight champion. And you know what? We're going to switch this around. We, I know you guys are like, what is this man doing? But no, I want JTG, The Rock, with King Book over here, right? Perfect. Oh. Perfect. And then over here, World Heavyweight Title Match. King Booker. Yeah, the entire is going to have to be in this corner. The Rock. Randy Orton, the United States champion, will try to challenge King Booker for the World Heavyweight title. We combine some robberies right there. I, I think it's good. We keep JTG in the loop with the rivalry. Uh, tag team titles will be right there. And on top of that, the World Heavyweight title. So I feel like that's two title matches. Back to back, I, I feel like we're, we're, I feel pretty strongly about that. So that's four, eight, nine, uh, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen over here. So we'll do a singles match over here. We've got Punk. We've got Carlito Burke. We'll go one on one. Wait a minute. Rick Rude and Jeff Hardy are on here. So Jeff Hardy's going to be in singles action. And even though Rick Rude, Rick Rude's still going to be here, but Rick Rude's man, Elijah Burke's going to win that. I feel like that's the perfect setup. I know Shad's not being used, but hey, it's just one of those things we're trying to. Damage, li uh, damage limitation on popularity right now. That's what we're trying to do. And I had to remove somebody. Like, I could remove Johnny Nitro and put Shad over here. And boom. So we, we, we can do that. Um, so, yeah, let's do it. Uh, ooh. We're going to skip this one. Cold Rock or whatever. But we have to play these two. That's title matches. However, do I risk the winning streak of Matt Hardy? Do I try to keep Elijah Burke's pop going up? Please. Damn it. Fuck you, Carlito. Already ruining things for me. So Kane's popular is going to go down even more. So will Nitro's. And now Matt's is probably going to go down. Wonderful. I had faith. And it just dropped. Da -doop. And interesting folks. He is the former United States champion. He is none other than Jeff Hardy. Oh, his power does come up. Whoops. Well, at least we got to see like a glimmer of it. So at least that's something. And his opponent, folks, he's a former ECW World Champion. He is another than Elijah Burke. Of course, Rick Root just here because it's, it's his hometown. We've got to boost the popularities. We've got to boost them all. That's a nice stretch. There you go, Jeff Hardy, Elijah. 
don't know what that was from Jeff, but okay. I, I think the... Uh, I don't know. I don't, you know, I, I don't know, and I honestly fans, you don't should really know. keep your head in the match. Let's go. These guys trying to climb the scale here on the cruiser division. Jeff, of course, though, trying to make sure he keeps his uh, number one contendership intact here. But a uh, loss to Elijah Burke kind of puts that in jeopardy. You can search the world over and you won't find another superstar yeah, like the charismatic enigma Jeff Hardy. No, no. And I, for one, am grateful for that. The last thing this company needs is another head case like him. He might be unconventional, but there's no question in the name wow. he's made for himself. Unconventional is wearing blue jeans to a business meeting. Jeff Hardy is a freak show. Ref, move. Why are you... You were in the way, Nick Patrick. You were in the way. I don't think not anyone in this match is even considered about? that they might not walk out the winner. Of course not. That's the kind of point at me that like I, I was anything. the problem. And that's something I don't think people realize. The mental conditioning of the WWE superstars going up that turnbuckle hurts a hell of a lot less than coming down from it. And they don't yeet. Jason would be proud. Yeet. I thought he was gonna slide him through it like damn. I got like it was nothing. I was like, damn. Elijah Burke had 102 knockouts as a boxer. The Elijah experience, aka sweep. the stroke. It's not just Love a leg that. sweep, it's the Elijah experience, and man, did he nail it. He saw that one coming. I thought he was gonna counter on, so that would have been the perfect Jeff Hardy counter. Just flip right back. You aren't gonna do that. I knew what I was doing. Okay, it looks like, like it honestly looks like a bitch slap. Seeing a match like see this makes me proud Jeff, to be part of this company. I'm with you, partner. I guess not. You just okay. can't experience a thrill like this anywhere else. And that's because you're not going to see athletes you're... like the WWE superstars anywhere else, Cole. You, you go on the rope, on the rope. On the Nick Patrick won. Two to O. Oh. Damn. Threw him out like a sack of crap, just like a good guy. I hope this isn't the last time we see these superstars face off. I don't say this too often, but I completely agree with you. This has all the makings of a nice long rivalry. I don't know how nice it is. Damn it. But there are certainly some issues between these superstars, Frickin and I think Jeff had this to fly match out like a, a might only outside. exasperate them. Hey, watch your language. This is a family show. I said exasperate. Not oh never mind. There you God, go. would you there look you at go. that? Talk about a crimson mask. It's unfortunate, but you always run that. This Elijah experience Elijah on a bloody experience. Jeff Hardy. That? What an impact. It's over. He's going for the pin. What? Excuse what? How did he just? I knew it. He was just faking. What is happening? There's the what cover. is happening? Can he do it? Rick, stay on there, damn it! The crowd. That is the slowest count ever. When I first heard about this match, I wasn't sure what to think, but these superstars are blowing the fact that was a two me count. away. Really? As soon as I heard about it, I, I expected just dick a punched tremendous him. matchup. And he still got that off. I haven't been disappointed. I didn't say I'm not disappointed. But I'll talk about getting stuck with you as a broadcast partner some other time. Yeah, we're not doing this crap here. Get up, Jeff. You have been running too much airtime. He's going for the cover. That's it. There you go. Elijah Burke struggling to put Jeff Hardy away. But gets the job done by the roll-ups. I was like, yeah, he's, he's really struggling here. Congrats to Elijah Burke. He beats Jeff Hardy and splits him open here. Tonight. A big win for Elijah Burke. Elijah Burke.
that's a nice stretch. Oh, golly. Let's try something pop. All right, next up this turn, tag team match. Mark Henry and Shawn Michaels team up against CM Punk and Roddy Piper for the tag team titles right here tonight. Obviously, of course, because he traded Ric Flair, which means Shawn Michaels would, have to, would no longer have a partner and had to vacate the titles. However, Shawn Michaels found himself an insurance policy in the World's Strongest Man, Mark Henry, and tried to gift him the tag team titles. That was the k right? And so because of that, this tag team match has been made here tonight on SmackDown. Ladies and gentlemen, the uh, self-proclaimed one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. And of course, his tag team part of the man who also caused this controversy. He is the other half of the well, of the subsequent WWE Tag Team Champions, Shawn Michaels. And of course, their opponents, at least one of their opponents, he is another than C M Punk. And of course, his tag team partner, the legendary Hall of Famer and a former East of your World Champion. And actually, in I think season one, he was a former WWE Champion. He is the Hot Rod, the Rowdy one, Roddy Piper. Sorry, folks. <laughs> like I said, it's been a long week already. It's only Wednesday for me. At least when this recording. At least while I'm recording this, so yeah. It. Oh. What? Well, down goes Nick Patrick. This is a good time to Looks use like weapon. he's decided to. Look out! The referee's been knocked out! And this is where things start getting interesting. What? And this crowd is really swelling. How did he get hit with that? H how? At what point does he? Fuck you, Nick Patrick. I, I, I don't know how he got hit with that, ladies and gentlemen. But the, the titles don't change hands. It's a disqualification. How did that happen? I don't know. No, that's that's stupid. That's I don't like that. Like I don't know how he got hit. It genuinely. I don't know. Very right, folks, introducing the current and reigning defending world heavyweight champion. He is none other than King. Booker. On the way to the ring. The power should be there, I'm just saying, but you know, it's whatever. And of course, his opponent, the man who is challenging for the world's heavyweight title, Rand Jordan and Kayfabe would have, you know, a loss to take the last week, would have talked about how he would be playing about facing a book in a non title match, champion versus champion. Put convince us to make it a world title match, what we did. The reigning defending United States champion looks to become a double champion for Street Night. If Brandon is pinned, he does not lose the United States championship. But if King Booker loses, he would no longer be the world heavyweight champion. And the main event of Summer Sun Sea Jeff here, that means it would be Randy Orton, Booker T, JTG, and The Rock for the world heavyweight title. That would be one hell of a fatal forward match if Randy Orton is to win here tonight. On SmackDown, we are weeks away from SummerSlam. Can Randy punch his ticket into the main event of SmackDown?
and came out to be the first double champion we've ever had in this GMO series. We've never had one before. Though it's been one title title on on ECW. Can Randy Orton become the simultaneous world heavyweight champion and the United States champion here tonight? Obviously, invested interest here. The Rock's going to be at ringside. So will The Undertaker. The man who pinned Randy Orton last week. World heavyweight title. Big fight feel here in the main event of SmackDown. Let's go for the chops. Chop them. Take that. More chops. No, no. Chops. He made his opponent look like a chump with that counter. Oh, this needs the body from Book. Oh, and a body slam. Or scoop slam, actually. Taker, I think, is enjoying what he's seeing. Remember, Book's a heel, folks. The Rock is actually facing two faces on the outside. Ooh, no up. kidding. No matter what call you make, you're going to get on the bad side of at least one superstar. And that's King about Booker the last the man place you want to be. Who, uh, so much can go wrong from that top by defeating the Rock. Oh. At the Great American I've Bash, which also, I think, surprised a lot lost. of people. Let's go for the second like one. This. Going for the book and a move they sure do, and that The Rock knows the all about. You got to be careful when you're and going up there. And booked out third time the trifecta. And but the Rand gun. Yorton had it scouted. It's coming for these chops. Keep chopping them. More chops. Three chops. I love Booker's attitude. He doesn't care what the fans think. He's focused on winning, and that's it. Well, he might want to acknowledge the paying customers who make... Oh, no. The referee is down. Exactly what Book What's wanted here. So, Randy Orton did not everything. too long ago. No Turnabout's fair no play, rules. isn't it? Did you see that? What a shot. This could result in a serious injury if no one stops this. Oh, my. That's going wow. to do some serious damage Rand, if again, someone Booker doesn't T. stop this. Who in could the do it right risk free. would try to do that? Who was the stop? The ref was down. Ref didn't say anything. Booker just used the ref as collateral he damage, but over the low blow one. right in front of the. Come on, yeah. Nick. Nick, you're, you're right there. What are you doing? Nick Patrick needs needs, needs to do better than that. But this is exactly what Randy Orton has Randy done before. Randy Orton has it all. It's a great look. You when you, when fantastic you charisma and three surprising. generations of experience in the business. And not to mention, an he's got his book going for that right scissors kick to put this match away and retain the title of a scissors, scissors kick. kick. Booker T two zero. Oh, the rope right break. Here. The rope break was there. Book did not know the play. Did not realize what placement at least were for where Randy Orton was. It may have just cost him. He's victory. going up, and what goes up must come down. It's like one of Book's favorite moves. He's and going for that second Bam! scissors, scissors kick. kick. He might have just knocked his opponent out cold. Book realizing he does not want Orton to be near the ropes. Orton is still out cold. Can Book retain the world heavyweight title? The counter. count one Five. to retain two, three, and King Book hat is still the world heavyweight champion as he has pinned the United States champion here tonight. Oh, God. Did you guys hear that pop? Congrats to King Booker on retaining the World Heavyweight King Championship Booker. here tonight against the United States Champion, Randy Orton. Book is still the man. And still a champion. That was a heel versus heel match. This crowd can't believe they're like, shit. Is it now, what, one episode away from SummerSlam? Achilles tendon. JTG was pulled out of the main event of SummerSlam. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's not good. Um...
Oh no, that's four, one, two, three. He's he he won't be healthy till till yeah Friday. Damn. Uh, that actually ruined the triple threat we had. So I guess we're getting a rematch at some. No. No. We need to have a match for that. We need to find a suitable contender. I refuse to to have to deal with this this egregiousness. The losing ways for gain continues. Gain your loser. Seventy one. No, it didn't go down though. I guess they did lose technically. Yeah. Eh. Who was it, Kobe? That I was like, why am I like struggling right now? Plus three and plus three. And we're gonna do Mark Henry next. Like, well, we could do. Let's actually do Elijah Burke. No, well, no, no, we'll do Mark Henry. He's the champion. Whoa. Big Mark said we're gonna we're gonna work with this thing. Does he wanna do another one is the real question. Okay, well pushed our luck there. But Mark Henry now in eighty three, Carlito now a hundred. Popularity. So we are getting there. We, we we are getting there, which is good. More guys are becoming um readily available, as I like to say. Gregory Holmes, what the hell are we going to do with you, dude? Yeah, Kane is falling to shambles, and honestly, we've already taken... I, you know, I really don't even think I want Kane here anymore. Like, talk about a guy who has just fallen from freaking shambles and just getting worse and worse, it seems like. I don't know what we're going to do with that guy. Yeah, we'll, we'll 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 figure out something with with Kane for right now, because goodness gracious, unfortunately he's going to be here on the roster. So at least we got thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Wait, so after SummerSlam, so all of our rivalries are going to end. So the world title one's going to end, and. All, all of our rivalries will end at uh, No Mercy, even the two new ones we'll have to make after this. And then um, Armageddon will be when that, and then, yeah, that, that's what we'll do. Kind of carry us over. All right, that's fine. That works for me. So health report, 25%. Uh, where is JTG? Four weeks. Yeah, I'm not going to push JTG if he's. Yeah, he could be in that manager role for a little bit. It sucks because that was JTG's kind of. He has earned the right to be at SummerSlam. However, I can't put him in SummerSlam if he's going to be. If he's injured. So he'll have to forfeit that. And we'll have to crown a new number one contender. Because um, that was rightfully supposed to be a one on one. That was an earned opportunity and it will have to be earned. Um, it, you know, regardless, so that's heartbreaking. Hold on, merchandise, Mer oh, oops. merchandise, thinking about the long way. I mean, advertising right now, but advertising. So, main event, I want to do oh, that's gonna, that's gonna backfire. We will, we will happily lose and break this at that point. Um, We'll do a Tano tag match. So King Book, Rick Rude. The Rock, this is a match. This right here is a match. That is the main event of the 
King Booker, Rick Rude versus The Rock, and Jeff Hardy. The heels take on the faces in the main event for week one's uh, show next week. That That's pretty fire. Um, right over here. We are going to see. For her. Um, I think, realistically, Shawn Michaels versus CM Punk. And a submission match should kind of help their rivalry. It helps take up a spot, and it's just kind of beneficial to kind of have it there. I like that because we handled that one as well. And then Randy and Taker. Randy Orton is going to try to enlist the help. Oh, he's not going to get the help. Who am I kidding? But the United States Champion is going to wait and watch The Undertaker kind of go to battle here with Mark Henry. That that right there is a great way to utilize Mark Henry. Yep. So all three feuds are all four feuds are taken care of in these three matches. I still need a match here to determine who is going to become the number one contender. Who's going to replace JTG in that match? And of course, in golf popularity, that's all I got. Um, I'm going to use Piper elsewhere, unfortunately. But. I can't do that to him. So Car Carlito and Roddy Piper will, will fight in this match here to determine who will replace JTG in that match. Who will join it to continue that triple threat match? Will it be Carlito? Will it be Roddy Piper? We're gonna find. We're we're gonna find out. That's four, six, nine, eleven, and we'll do fifteen here. So. Yeah, Elijah Burke will be over there. But then who kind of goes in place of that? Because I don't think anyone actually does. I know what we'll do. Oh, I do know what to do, actually. So we'll have to make this a one-on-one -on -one match. Oh, we could make it a manager with manager. Yeah, we'll do that, actually. It makes it easier. And then Shad can sort of get his win back. So six, 15, 15, 15 people get used regardless. Since Burke's on a, on a winning streak, we obviously, we, we, we obviously want to keep Burke winning. So we're going to do that. And then he'll face Matt Hardy here. Yeah, JT's 100 is matter. That way we can keep him um, on... Um, away from being hurt. So that's going to be the show next week. I think we have a pretty solid show. No more contention match here. I like what we have. I think it's a great way to utilize the stars we have as well. It just makes life a little bit easier. and That's kind of what I'm going for. I think we have a pretty solid show, so I'm not complaining about any of this. So with that being said, right, please do leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Actually, before you do that, before I check out the fan support, well, we're kind of going upward. Yeah, yeah, we're actually we are actually going upward on route to to SummerSlam. That's perfect. And Raw and Smack Raw and East were kind of battling with each other, which is awesome too. So we're actually kind of like on the up and up, which is what we we really really needed. So heck freaking yeah, let's go, let's go. Yeah. So, so with that being said, everyone, please do leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the BVTV Gaming channel. We will see you all next time, everybody. And as always, stay off the hook. Peace out, everybody.